Okay, good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Monday. Morning, Letitia, Ruby, Chris, Stan, Sonique, Letitia. Hi, Letitia. Angel, good morning. Good morning. Um, is my video still on? It's on. You can see me? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So, we're back again with another lesson, and it's going to be a great lesson, okay? So, before we get into today's lesson, I just want to clear up something, because I don't want you guys, even though, you know, you didn't write it down, it wasn't really um, a part of the lesson last class. I did mention it, and I did make a mistake, so I just want to clear that up, because I don't want you guys to have any misconceptions, right? So, last class, when we were talking about injuries to the muscles, I mentioned um, one type of injury named a sprain or, well, in your context, I mentioned a screen, okay? And we said the screen was the, a tear in the tendon or a tear in the muscle. And I compared this with something called a sprain. Um, and I think I told you guys that a sprain was a break in the bone okay and that is incorrect i wanted to i wanted to correct that so it's not a break in the bone what a sprain is is a tear in the ligament okay and we know from our studies of the skeletal system that a ligament is the tissue that connects bone to bone okay so before we start on our nutrition lesson i just wanted to clear it up for you guys we good awesome great okay Good. Okay. So like I said, we are moving on to a new topic, a fun topic, a topic that I like. Okay. Because hey, I like food, right? So we're going to talk about nutrition today. So like always, guys, take out your book. Take out your book. Today is the 20th of April, 2020. Okay. Topic nutrition. I don't know why, but I can't see the video. So I, I, okay. And um, can you guys put your questions in the Q&A so I can answer them? And then you can put, when I ask a question, you can put the answer in the chat. Okay, because sometimes I'm looking for your answer and it's, it's different places. So put your questions in the Q&A and put your answers in the chat for me, please. You can also put your comments in, in, the, in the chat. That's fine too. Okay, we should be done. We should be we should be pretty good. Okay. So let's move on to well, let me make this screen. Okay, so our objectives for the day. We only have two objectives today, so we should get through them with no problem. First objective, and we're gonna write this down as always, is to recall the seven essential essential sorry nutrients. So by the end of the lesson, you should know all seven. You should know um, the sources. You should know what they do, okay? Secondly, identify food sources of each nutrient. So like I said, you should know examples of food that are rich in these nutrients. You should know what these nutrients are. You should know why they are important for our body. Done? I moved the slide anyway. My bad. Okay, good. Okay, so what are nutrients? And I think you should have a somewhat of an idea of what I'm talking about when I say nutrients, right? So nutrients are chemicals found in the food that we eat. So we get nutrients from food. Nutrient substances used by the, are used by the body for essentially life and growth. So we need them in our body to maintain life, to grow, and to do some other things. These include energy production and to build and repair cells, okay? So nutrients are very essential to our life, okay? We can't maintain life without nutrients, and therefore we can't maintain life without, without food, right? Because we know we get these nutrients from our food, okay? I see someone said they learned about this in home ec. Yes, very important, okay? And we're going to do some other things that you may have done in home ec because we're going to talk later on in another lesson about balancing your meal so that you have the right amount of nutrients in every meal, okay? Remember to type done when you're done, guys. Okay, where do we find our nutrients? 
the KH one, Letitia, where do we find our nutrients? In our food, very good. Why do we need nutrients? To grow, yes, good. What else, why else? Yes, to maintain proper health, build immune system, good, which connects to maintaining proper health, build and repair cells, yes, very good. Okay, very good. I remember, again, put your, put your answers for me in the chat, in the chat, not the Q&A. Okay, so, let, so, so listen, I'm about to show you a video, okay? And I want you to pay attention to certain things in this video. So, because I'm going to ask you questions. That's just, that's just how I roll. It's just what I do, okay? So, at the end of this video, right, I'm going to ask you, they're going to mention six nutrients, right? But from the objective, we know, from the objective, sorry, we know that it's supposed to be seven nutrients. That's fine. They're going to mention six. We're going to get to the seven. We're going to mention the seven. You're going to, you're going to know all that by the end of this lesson, right? But they're going to mention six. And I'm going to need you to pay attention to what those six nutrients are. Okay. And I'm gonna, also going to ask you, why are they important? Why are these nutrients, why do we need these different types of nutrients in our body to maintain proper health? Okay, so I'll play the video and I want you guys to listen. I want you to use your scientific skills. I want you to use, um, I want you to listen. I want you to observe. I want you to pay attention. Hello again, viewers. We all know that the food we eat often provides us with essential nutrients. In this video, we're going to talk about the six basic nutrients that you can get from food and their functions. Um, Let's get started with the nutrient which dominates more than six hello again viewers we all know that the food we eat often provides us with essential nutrients in this video we're going to talk about the six basic nutrients that you can get from food and their functions let's get started with the nutrient which dominates more than 60 percent of our body water even if you decide to go on a diet and not eat any more proper meals you can still survive although you won't make it without water. For every organ of your body to work properly, it needs water. This liquid helps your brain function and cleanses your body of toxins. The cells in your body stay hydrated because of water. Apart from that, water also helps in the process of digestion. If you're someone who doesn't drink water regularly, you might find yourself constipated more often than not. If you aren't drinking water properly, you'll end up becoming dehydrated. That's not good for your body as it can affect its mental and physical performance. Not drinking enough water can also make you feel tired and reduce your ability to concentrate. Vitamins. The basic function of these nutrients is to keep away diseases and keep you healthy. Without a healthy dose of vitamins, it would be difficult for your body to fight microorganisms. While there are about 13 types of vitamins that your body needs, four of them are extremely essential. These are vitamin A, B6, C, and D. These four vitamins play an important role in your body. In case you aren't getting enough of these vitamins, you might face some problems. For example, lack of vitamin B6 can cause your blood pressure to lower uncontrollably. Similarly, Lack of other vitamins may cause skin problems, vision problems, and weakness. On the other hand, having enough vitamins in your body would mean that you'll have a healthy immune system. The risks of getting lung and prostate cancer would also reduce with the proper intake of, vit of vitamins. Additionally, vitamins also have high levels of antioxidant properties that are good for your body. What's more, it's been found that vitamins play an important role in longevity of a human being. Protein. This is the nutrient that gets the most hype. Go to any nutritionist and they'll suggest a lot of food items for the proper intake of protein. These include meat, eggs, and some grains. So why is protein so popular? Well, protein is the building block of your body. No, we don't mean just muscles. We're talking on a deeper level. Whether it's your bones, muscles, skin, hair, or even the cells in your body, everything contains protein. In fact, 
protein is responsible for a staggering 16% of an average human's body weight. Even your hormones and antibodies are composed of proteins. In other words, it would be very difficult to live without this nutrient. This begs the question, what are proteins made of? Well, the answer is fairly simple. They're made up of different types of amino acids. Your body needs protein so that it can function properly. This is why your nutritionists always stress that you have a lot of protein in your diet, even if you're looking to lose weight. So the next time they ask you to have scrambled eggs at breakfast, take the advice. They only want what's good for you. Fats. Yes, the nutrient that you want to avoid. Well, maybe you shouldn't avoid it so much after all. Of course, an excessive amount of fat may be dangerous for your body. Too much fat can cause problems for our blood pressure levels and heart as well as our digestive and respiratory systems. So why are we saying you shouldn't avoid fats? Well, according to a study at Harvard Medical School, it was found that fats help the absorption of other nutrients. On top of that, fats play an important role in cell building. If that wasn't enough to convince you, the study also showed that fats help to improve your muscle movement. While you might want to avoid fat because of high amounts of calories, it would be better if you ingest it and then burn those calories instead. Additionally, if you can consume fats at a controlled basis and burn calories, it will decrease the risk of heart diseases. More importantly, you'll have a lower chance of getting type 2 diabetes. It had also been speculated that controlled intake of fat improves brain function. Minerals When we talk about minerals for our body, the first thing that might come to mind is calcium. Although this isn't the only one, don't forget about iron and zinc. So, what does this terrific trio of calcium, iron, and zinc do for the body? Calcium is the mineral responsible for your strong bones. It helps to transmit nerve signals from one part of the body to the other. Calcium helps maintain healthy blood pressure, as well as improve muscle contraction and relaxation. Similarly, zinc is your go-to mineral when it comes to boosting your healing factor. Zinc improves your metabolism and strengthens your immune system. It also increases your resistance against diseases. The last mineral here is iron which is responsible for the creation of your red blood cell, carbohydrates. While the world is moving towards low-carb diets, it's still one of the most important nutrients for our body. Carbohydrates serve as food for your brain and your central nervous system. While we wouldn't ruin your diet plan by including too many carbs, you should still consume a healthy amount of this nutrient in order to have a healthy lifestyle. Are you consuming your nutrients? Do you drink enough water every day? Let us know in the comments. We would okay, love... Okay, good. So, question time. Q&A. Okay, so, he firstly mentioned a nutrient that he said made up more than 60% of our body. What was that nutrient? Who remembers? Good. Water. Very good. Very good. And he started off just stressing the importance of water. So, why is water important? Why do we need water? And I partly just said it, right? Because he said that it makes up so much of our body, right? Yes, we need, we need water to, for the healthy function of our body, of our, all of our cells, basically, right? Because we are mostly made up of water. So we, it makes sense that we need water to function and to live, right? So can we go an extended period without water, do you think? Can we survive with no water? No. Very good. Awesome. What other vitamins did he mention? Yes, water makes up our body. Okay, I see somebody mentioned, Christopher mentioned fats. Okay, so what is the function of fats? What did he say about fats? Brain activity. Okay. What is, what is, the, third, what is the third nutrient that he mentioned? Carbohydrates. Okay, I see others saying protein. What else? Vitamins and minerals. Very good. Awesome. We were paying attention. Okay, so let's get into these nutrients. So we're writing again. So like he said, or like he didn't say, there are seven essential food nutrients. The video only mentioned six, but that's fine. But there are seven, right? And these include water. These include, sorry, carbohydrates, fats, protein, vitamins, water, minerals, and something called 
fiber. Okay, write that down for me, please. And please remember that those um, words that I have bolded, you should underline. Okay, so we should be done. Okay, so let's look at our first nutrient. Okay, and our first nutrient is going to be carbohydrates, right? Or you may commonly know it as carbs. Okay, you have the nutritionists. You have the people who are into fitness. They'll talk about these things called carbs. Okay, so carbs are used to make energy. Okay, carbs are our most important source of energy. And I'm sure you know that sometimes when you're feeling energy, you might say, you know what, I need something. I need something sweet to eat. All right. And it's amazing how we know that we need carbs, even without really knowing that that's what it is, right? Or knowing the reason behind, right? So our body just is when we need energy. So carbohydrates are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. There are two kinds of carbohydrates. These are starch and sugar. So we have our starchy food, we have our bread, we have our potatoes, we have our cereal, we have our rice, we have all these starchy food, and then we have our sugar, right? So there are two types, starch and sugar that make up, or that are the two types of carbs or carbohydrates. Yeah, type done. When you're done, we're writing, we're writing this down, as always. So again, carbohydrates or carbs are our main source of energy. We consume carbohydrates for energy. So these are products such as bread, rice, potato, cereal, sugar. All of these are needed for us to have energy, okay? And there are two different types of carbs. These are starch and sugar. You have sugary carbs, you have starchy carbs, right? Like our potatoes. Good. Now, this wasn't mentioned. This wasn't mentioned in the video, but our second type of nutrients is called fiber. And fiber, which is also known as roughage, is a plant matter that we get from plant-based foods, right? So do we get these from animal foods? What do you think? Based on what I just said. Yes, no, maybe so. No, very good, Kiana. Only from plant-based food. Interestingly enough, although we get these from plants, these cannot be absorbed. Our body cannot absorb this, right? So our digestive system is not made to absorb and use fiber in the way that it absorbs and use the other type of nutrients. But fiber is still very important. And why is it important? Fiber is essential for cleaning out the digestive system. Okay. So if you if you have you know older persons in your family or oh, you may have experienced it yourself, right? So when we with constipation, you will hear a lot of people saying, go get some prune juice, okay? Or go buy, go in the store, go get some prune. And this is because this um, prune has a lot of fiber in it. And it's that fiber that helps to clean out the digestive system, okay? So that's why you will hear people talking about prune or prune juice. It's very essential. Not having enough fiber in your in your diet can lead to constipation right so we need it it's important even though we can digest it it is or can absorb it it is very important and like prunes we have other other um food sources beans pears lettuces and these are just examples they aren't they don't include all the food sources just some examples so you can remember but I always remember prawns, right? I guess that's what I grew up on, prawns. Done, 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 done. Good. Awesome job. Let's move along. Okay, so our third nutrient is fats, right? And he did mention this in the video. And what fats do is they also provide a source of energy. What nutrient is the main source of energy, though? You guys remember? Not water. We just the main source of energy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What was our first nutrient? Carbs. Very good, Neon. Carbs. Yes. Carbohydrates. Yes. Remember, guys, we said that carbohydrates are our main or our most essential source of energy. However, 
fats do provide a good source of energy. And they also work to provide a layer under the skin for warmth. Okay, so we need our, our fats to stay warm, provide that layer. Fats are made up of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Like what, what are the nutrients? It's made up of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Let me see if you're paying attention. Who's paying attention? What are, what are um, nutrients? It's, it's made up of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Carbs, carbs again, good. So you can see the similarities, right? Food sources of fats are butter, margarine, and cooking oil. And you know, fats, hey, they get a bad rep, right? Because we know that we shouldn't be consuming too many fats, but they are still important. We should still um, consume some level of fats. Not to overdo it, but to help in energy sources, and other okay so they help to provide en energy and they have other little knickknack and their um essential essentials right they're important for other things done most of you are done moving along protein you always hyped you always you always mega hyped to get to protein i saw a lot of you mentioned protein right so Proteins are the building blocks of all life and it's essential for growth, for the growth of cells and tissue repair. Protein, the building blocks, the building blocks of all our cells, all of our tissue, all of our organs. Okay, so proteins are very important. Proteins consist of oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Okay, what other two nutrients are made up of oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon? Just did it. Carbs, carbons, what else? Good. Good, Rory. And fats. Yes. Awesome job, Rory. Awesome job. Good. But guess what? Protein contains some other little stuff. They get, right? So they put some other little stuff in there. So they also contain some nitrogen, some phosphorus, some sulfur, right? Foods rich in proteins are fish, chicken, beef, milk, and peanuts. Okay, so a good source of protein is our meat products and our dairy products, right? And protein is very, it's very important to people who want to build muscle, right? So you'd see that people who go to the gym a lot or are athletes or, are, you know, are persons who, who are just into fitness, they are very into protein, Okay, so they, if you see the picture, the diagrams below, chicken, the beef, but you also see the protein shake. So they basically, they say protein is so important. Let's put this in a bottle, okay? So they have protein shakes. People drink, people drink to increase the protein, right? Or to bulk up, to build muscle or to um, harden bones or all of these stuff protein is responsible for. They are the building blocks, again, of all life. So again, proteins are the building block of life. When our tissues are damaged and need repair, they are responsible for that. And they promote overall growth, okay? Overall growth of our cells. Good. Vitamins. So vitamins are used to keep the body healthy. So vitamins promote overall growth, okay? Now, I know, you guys, when you're feeling not so well, when you get sick, you know, behemoths, we be on to something, you know. What's the first thing they say? You all take your vitamins? Go get some vitamins, right? Even if it's the little, even if, if it's the little chewy vitamins, I like the chewy vitamins. Big kids, big kids, okay? So... They're, again, they are responsible for overall body health. So we, like I said, we really be on to something. When we're feeling sick, when we come down with the flu, when we come down with the cold, they say, get some vitamins. And they are very important, right? They are very important for immune health and for the overall health of our body. So there are many types of vitamins that have different functions. 
One example is vitamin A, which maintains healthy eyesight. Now, I wonder, I wonder how much y'all was really paying attention. In the video, he did say there are a lot of different vitamins, right? And he made mention of a few. One of those was vitamin A, which he did say maintains healthy eyesight. Who give me another vitamin? Who give me another type of vitamin that was mentioned? I see somebody saying vitamin C. Who knows what vitamin C is used for? What vitamin C, why vitamin C is important? Okay, Caden, Caden said vitamin C builds our immune system. Good. Very good. Now he might he mentioned another vitamin vitamin in the in the video called B16. Who remember what B16 is good for? Lance, y'all gotta y'all gotta pay attention to the video. Okay, he said B16 is important to prevent low blood pressure low blood blood pressure yeah someone got it good good and there are a lot of foods that are rich in vitamins there are a variety of foods that are rich in vitamins right some of these are sweet potatoes eggs nuts pork vegetable fruits right so there's a there's a good variety very good variety we mentioned potatoes before where did we mention potatoes as a source of 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 nutrient what nutrient was that Carbs, yes, awesome. We also mentioned eggs, nuts. We mentioned poultry. We mentioned um dairy. What what what? Who remembers what nutrients that was? As a good source of this nutrients, protein. Yes, oh y'all, smart, so smart. Good job, good protein. Yes, okay, the building blocks. Okay, before we leave, why are vitamins important? What are the function of vitamins in our body? Keep healthy, right? Overall health of our body. Keep us healthy. Build immune system. Very good. All those good, good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna stop here for the day, but let's let's do a quick review before you guys go. Don't go yet, please. Please don't go. Please stay with me. Okay, so our first type of nutrient. Who remembers the first type of nutrient that we, we talked about today? Who remembers? Who remembers? Okay, we mentioned water first in the in the in the video. Okay, but we started off. We said this is a nutrient that is important for energy. Carbohydrates, yes, you know, yes, yes. This is what I like. This is what this is what I like. Carbohydrates, good. Remember that carbohydrates are essential for energy production. Okay, so where do we find what foods are rich in carbohydrates? Bread, yes. Rice, okay. Sugar, yes. Potatoes, yes. All of that. There are two um, types of carbohydrates. What are they? Cereal, yes, yes. Uh huh. Starch and looking for it. Looking for it. Starch and sugar, yes. Good, Michael. Good. Starch and sugar, carbohydrates. Our second. Who remembers our second type of nutrient? What was that? Fiber, yes. Fiber. Why is fiber important? Right, to clean up the body is very important, right? Because even though we don't absorb fiber, we do need it to cleanse out our digestive system, right? Good. Um, and foods that are rich in fiber include prawns, beans, pears, lettuce. Awesome. I remember that fiber is always a plant-based um, nutrient. So we always get this from plant-based products or plant-based foods. Here we go. Fats. Why do we need fat? Listen, y'all knew it was fat before I even went on the slide. Why do we need fats, guys? Why is fat important? Energy, yes, for energy and for warmth. Yes, very good, awesome. Foods also include butter, margarine, and cooking oil. We know that. We, we know that, okay? Awesome, what was number four? Who remembers? Y'all remember more than me? Protein, awesome, good. And remember we said that protein are... Building blocks. They are essential building blocks in our body, right? It builds all of our cells, all of our tissues, and they are also important in tissue repair and growth of our cells. Awesome, right? And like our fats and like our carbs, they do contain oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon, but they also contain some other stuff, some other nitrogen and other um, minerals. Okay, good. So we said we also said that our proteins are we usually find them in meat product and in 
um, dairy products, right? So our chicken, our beef, our pork, our fish, right? It isn't mentioned there, but very important, our fish and all those other good stuff. Our milk, yes, good. Listen, you're all telling me the answer before I even get to there. What is number five? What was our number five nutrient? What was that? Vitamins, yes. Vitamins. And we said, remember, why is vitamins important? For overall health. Oh, you're, you're doing wonderful today, okay? Vitamins are very important for the overall health of our body, okay? Remember, we said there are many types of, of, of vitamins, right? And they can be found in various food sources, including eggs, nuts, pork, vegetables, potatoes, rice, I could go on, 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 right? So vitamins are very important. And we're going to dive in a later on, probably next lesson, into the different types of vitamins and why each type is important to the body. Good. And we stopped here for the day. So grade seven, pack your bags, switch bags on your back, doing the chair. You all miss school. I miss school. You all miss school? No? Yes, maybe so. Okay, so you have a next class. Please do well for the rest of the day. Pay attention. And I see some of you saying that you came in late. That's fine. Please go on the website on all of these PowerPoints. It might be posted today. Or the presentation, I should say. It might be posted today. But later on, it should be posted. So you can go on and you can, you can re-watch it. If you take down some notes, you can do that. Okay? Yeah, right, give on. Like, who doesn't miss school? Okay, so again, have a beautiful day. This short video clip is going to tell us what our phonics lesson is going to be all about. Let us watch. After listening to that song on rhyme, we should be ready to go with this short exercise. We are going to match the vocabulary terms on side A to side B that has the same end sound. Let us call all the words on side A after me. Mass. Density. Weight. And volume. Side B. Intensity. Freight. Consume. And class. All right, I'll be ready. Let's go. Mass. Class, excellent. Density. Intensity. Weight. Freight. And volume. Consume. Great job, students. Give your neighbor a high five. Our national dish has now become extinct throughout the Bahamas. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Jiminy Deswain. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Restaurants are closing down and fishermen are going bankrupt. Environmentalists say that this is a catastrophe. Once conch is gone, it's gone. Diving. Heard them say resources slow. I noticed things was getting slow. The man, I really thought that they was lying. How our delicacy could ever become history when all around me is the sea. My, oh my, my, should've left them babies in the sand. Why, oh, why, why, should've given them chance to grow up, should've given them chance to multiply.
Welcome, sixth graders. Today, together, we are going to explore the various ways we can protect our marine resources. Throughout the video, you will be able to identify the prohibited methods of fishing and discuss closed fishing periods for some animals. Let's begin by calling the vocabulary words aloud together. Polex, prohibited, tournament, breathing, and dredged. There are perhaps one or two of those words that you may not know the definition of or be familiar with. Let's read through the definitions. Beginning with polyps. Polyps are a small animal whose skeleton makes a part of a coral reef. Prohibited. Prohibited means against the law something that is not allowed. Tournament. Tournament is a competition. Breathing refers to reproduction. Dredge to dig out. Laws for fishermen. Some Bahamian fishermen still use traditional methods that have been handed down for centuries from one generation to the next. These methods are protected by law. The vast areas of banks, reef, and sea that surround the islands of the Bahamas provide our country with a valuable resource. Many types of seafood Let's view the map of the Bahamas. There are three major fishing grounds in the Bahamas and every Bahamian fisherman goes to one or all of them. These are highlighted on the map. The Great Bahama Bank, the Little Bahama Bank, and Key Sal Bank. Yes, the art of fishing is very relaxing and enjoyed by many. However, some fishermen have become greedy and catch fish in ways that destroy the environment. Therefore, the government has placed laws to prevent fishermen from using methods that would harm the environment. The following video gives a brief description of what can possibly happen to poachers who are caught fishing illegally in our waters. Officers from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force are searching for four Dominicans that were aboard two skiffs that accompanied a Dominican fishing vessel intercepted on Friday on the Great Bahama Bank southwest of Great Exuma. The Defense Force confirmed that 18 Dominicans were discovered on board that vessel. An undetermined quantity of scale fish and crawfish was also found aboard the 100-foot steel-held vessel. Now the HMBS Wally Gray will escort the vessel to New Providence where the vessel crew members and fisheries products will be turned over to officials from the Department of Marine Resources, Police, and the Ministry of Finance for further investigations. Do you remember what the word prohibited means? Yes, something that is against the law or not allowed. Let's read together the prohibited fishing methods in the Bahamas. Starting with number one, the use of bleach, or other poisonous substances for fishing is prohibited. Number two, it is not permitted to use scuba equipment to catch fish or collect marine resources. And finally, number three, the use of guns or explosives is prohibited. Now that we know prohibited fishing methods, let's discuss 
fishing regulations in the Bahamas. These regulations protect various different animals. Beginning with the lobster. Mm. Yes, there is an open and a closed season as to when fishermen can capture the lobster. From April 1st to July 31st, no lobster is to be removed from the sea. Never found gold in Bahamian waters? Then it's probably because you're not a fisherman. Like the snappers and the grouper and the count, we'll call them silver, and the crawfish will be gold. Cause and with August 1st right around the corner, seafarers of New Providence are ready to get the 2019 crawfish season off to a start. But first, they say, there's a long checklist of items to complete before they can be ready to go out to sea. We get our, make sure we get enough fuel to be on the boat. Make sure we get enough grocery to last for a long time for out to sea. The fishing regulations in regards to conch states that if a conch shell does not have a well-formed lip, it should not be removed from the sea. No turtles may be taken from the 1st of April to July 31st. The hawksbill turtle is an endangered species. This turtle should not be taken from the sea. Did you know that it is forbidden to take turtle eggs? Yes, it's against our fishing regulations. Also, there is a minimum size for landing a turtle, which is 60 centimeters back length for the green turtle and 75 centimeters back length for the loggerhead turtle. There is also a closed season for the capture of the Nassau grouper. From the 1st of December to the 28th of February. The capture, the purchase, or selling of bonefish is prohibited. Fishing regulations regarding stone crab states that no crabs are to be removed from the water between the 1st of June and the 15th of October. Also, the claw length of stone crab should be at least 10 centimeters. Sports fishing is enjoyed by locals and tourists. However, the directors of any sport fishing tournament must have a written approval from the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries to organize or hold any tournaments. Let's recap today's lesson, students. Beginning with this question, what is an example of a prohibited fishing method? Let's see how well you did. If you said or thought of the use of bleach, poisonous substance, guns, explosives, or scuba equipment are prohibited, then your answers are correct. Question number two. Can you name all six animals mentioned that are protected by fishing regulations? Your answer should include Lobster, conch, turtles, the Nassau grouper, bonefish, and stone crab. Question 3. If a member of your family decides to host a fishing tournament, which government ministry do they have to seek permission from? Yes, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Well done, students. Remember to review the video as you complete your online activities to help you with answering your questions. I am so happy for the Bahamas Virtual Learning website. 